actually like the view. At the moment I am in Copenhagen with my sister. I came over for holidays for 10 days and this is my third day so I have a few days left. On Friday my mum's coming over so um, and then the two of us will be going home on Monday. But uh, just relaxing playing um, Astro Garden on Facebook. I've gotten addicted. It is actually quite sad because um, I was sick for the last few days when I came over here, like literally a few hours after I arrived, I ended up being sick. So I got addicted to Astro Farm and I became a Trekkie fish, well, not, not officially, really. But um, I had um, these episodes of Star Trek, the original series, and I have been watching them religiously. Uh, that and um, Torchwood. Sorry, just Astro Garden. Astro Garden, it's amazing. <laughs> the only um, thing is that literally, the, the, the um, place is overrun by bicycles. Um, if you can see them, like that is a whole courtyard. That is one courtyard out of so many around this place, just filled with bicycles. It's, um, they have more bicycles than, than cars here, which is, it, it is really awesome. It's, um, eco-friendly and everything like that but um the thing is is that um you get in a way if, if you get in the way of a bicycle um they won't stop they will run you over um it's it's actually quite funny you know it's like bicycle comes your way die um it's it's um pedestrians really do not have the right of way in this country you um Go near, um, like even cars, like Joe uh, zebra qua zeb zebra crossings, zebra crossings. Um, it's no, it, you can't. Like if it, like back in Ireland, like you go on a zebra crossing, the car stops for you. You go on a zebra crossing, it's like ten points if your head smashes off the windshield. Like seriously, <laughs> it's it's um quite dangerous, <laughs> very dangerous here. You always have to keep an eye out for cars and for bicycles when you're crossing the road. And um, like in Ireland, when um it, when you go across the road. It's if you're under zebra crossing or something like that and the police go by by or the guardie go by, they don't really do shit. But here if you do that they actually do stop and give out to you and give a warning and everything like that and it's oh it's just insane. It, it feels really um, insane over here. You know, we went to Christania today. Uh, for an hour or so. It is amazing. It is so beautiful and so colourful and you know, it, it just reeks of weed. <laughs> it is it is a hippie commune. It is amazingly beautiful and it's like people from the 70s who like first made Christania, like what Christania is today or back then and all that, they still live there and it's Oh, it is just mind blowingly beautiful. They um, they have bonfires like every other night and all that. And um, when I say bonfires, I mean I don't mean those like crappy little knacker bonfires you see around like Dublin or Bray or something. Like that. I mean massive bonfires that take up nearly a whole freaking field. It is amazing. And um, it's, I've never seen one. I, I haven't seen an actual bonfire take place because uh, Christiania is actually quite a, quite a dangerous place to be at at night and all that kind of stuff. But um, it is, uh, I saw today, like when we were, like another thing about Christiania is that taking out, whipping out a camera and taking pictures or vlogging is actually quite not a good thing to do because people like, because of like selling weed and everything like that, they, um, the people like, they come over to you and start like violently talking and the whole thing about like violently talking to me in Danish and I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. It's like, whoa. <laughs> um, but no, it is, it's, I, I saw um, the makings of a bonfire and it was massive. It's like the size of a small bungalow or not even a small bungalow, a medium bungalow, whatever. There's a small bungalow, big bung bungalow, don't care. But the size of a bungalow. And it is amazing, and they make um, like uh, sculptures out of just trash, like complete. Like, it is beautiful there. It's they don't just throw things out. Like they um, re they reuse it. They build things from it. They do everything, well not everything, <laughs> with it. But it is amazing, and the houses and 
oh they have a skate park over there and it is awesome it's literally an old warehouse and the thing is it's an old wooden warehouse so they have like all the planks up and they've like obviously built their own like cement ramps and everything and it's literally just a rainbow of colour just all over the place and it's covered with like graffiti but it's like amazing like art mur like mural graffiti like art murals all over the walls and there's like some blank walls that are just covered in this like co so just so colourful it is eye opening it is it's really eye opening and it's like the one thing that I have to say that when you go when you like come over to Copenhagen you really have to go see Castania. It is one of the places you just really have to go to. Um, I know you're all probably thinking like, oh dear lord, you're still high from Christania, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. Even though when you go in there, the smell of hash kind of, you, of after a few minutes you find that you can't walk straight, but <laughs> it's fine. Um, there, yeah, no, as I was saying, um, I was, I was talking about bikes, yes, yeah, bikes, jeez, bikes to Christania. But, um, the bikes overrun the city, um, more bikes than cars. Um, it is amazing. There's um, there's actually this this man I I've heard I overheard my sister talking to one of her friends that came over with her on the Erasmus, and um, there she was talking about like, uh, in one of the supermarkets and they came out. There's this man in kind of like electric wheelchair type of thing, and he has like his um by like his handlebars and he has like this wooden plank up and all of a sudden there's just this parrot sitting there <laughs> and we, we, we were um talking about it and she was like it's not like chained to the bike it's not in a cage it's just sitting there freely on its own will and then the man's like just cycle 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 this is the parrot hanging off him they had yeah they do have a thing like that we were um me and my sister were walking when we were coming when we were actually going towards Christania um we saw this woman drove um go past the bicycle and they have literally they have animal um baskets like for pets and everything like that and there's this small little dog it look, kind of looked like a shih tzu and uh, when I think of shih tzu I think of tibuscus why do I think of tibuscus? the griffin! <laughs> copyright tibuscus and um, what happened was that uh, is he was just like wrapped up he was wrapped up so snugly and securely with the green blanket and his face and he was just looking out in the scene, into the air and it's like she was going far, forward and it's like his hair is like wind swept back and it's like Hurr! it's just so cute um but no it is it's an amazing country i love it here it's they have like all of them um, church towers and they have round towers and then they have the carlsberg museum i haven't been there yet apparently it's uh, not really impressive but it's supposed to be pretty good they have um like oh what was it they have um a uh, collection bottle collection over there so it's like unopened um beer bottles that like are filled and everything like that and they have um a collection of that like over the years you know what i mean and katie's back hi it's time to put your frankfurters on it's time to put my frankfurters on for food um i will vlog later bye bye